Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife. This is a little extra thing in part of the video. Uh, we'll get to the video in just a second, but it seems like I am having to come on and ask for prayer much more often than I would like. But now I would like for you to remember my friend Gay over at Apron Strings. Her husband Troy also passed away. I asked for prayer for a young lady at Little Blessed Nest, and she was a lady I was not familiar with. Miss Gay, I am very familiar with. I love her kitchen. I've talked to you several times about how I think she has the most beautiful kitchen. And some of you guys told me that her husband also has passed away. Y'all, please remember these ladies in your prayers. Uh, I know some of you have walked through this, and thankfully I have not. Um, and I dread the day that that comes for either one of us, either Bryant or myself. Um, but please remember Miss Gay in your prayers. I know her heart is just completely ripped out. So um, thank you guys, and now on to the video. Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new, my name's Leslie. You're in my kitchen down on the farm. I would love for you to hit subscribe. I upload content mainly on cooking, oftentimes ministry, farm life, grocery hauls, day in the life of, you name it, you're going to get it here. So I would love for you to be a part of the Farm and Pastor's Wife family. If you're back, welcome back. Okay, let's run the intro so we can just jump right into today's video. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, want to see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the country So, if you watched yesterday's video You know tonight we're having family night And I already have dessert Persimmon pudding this is a Southeast specialty, I guess. Um, it is otherwise known. Sometimes you may hear it called shaky pudding. Um, persimmons are, you've got to pick them at the perfect time. If you don't pick them at the perfect time, and when I say pick them, I don't mean pick them off the tree. You never pick them off the tree, ever. And um, you pick them off the ground, and you have to... Do it right, because if you get a persimmon that is not excessively ripe, you will know it and you will regret it. So, uh, but this is going to be super delicious and stay tuned for everybody to taste it at the end of the video. But tonight we're having family night. I am just making spicy fried chicken sandwiches. Um, that is one of Jamie's favorite things and actually one of mine. And I don't do it often enough. And um, those of you that have followed me know I have been watching carbs and so forth. But um, tonight we're letting the guard down because I'm eating me a spicy chicken sandwich. I'm eating me this side dish we're fixing to make. And I'm going to have me a piece of shaky pudding or persimmon pudding. So, okay, let's get started. I don't know why everything looks dark. But anyway. We're going to make a delicious side salad. And I don't mean a salad like with lettuce and so forth. You're going to be pretty much surprised at this salad. So let me grab everything. Let me chop everything I need to chop. I'll meet you back right here when I get everything ready. Okay, everyone. So let's get started. And we're actually going to start with two cans of corn and as you can see I am not brand loyal when it comes to my corn um, so now if I had homegrown I would be loyal but let's get started here and I've drained both cans so we're just going to go in with two cans of corn being sure to get them all out and make some pretty music at the same time 
I'm gonna add in one per small purple onion chopped and one green pepper chopped. You can see already how refreshing and delicious this is going to be. Now the recipe calls for two cups of cheese. I had a lit, just, I mean, just a little bit extra than two cups, so I'm gonna Put it all in there. And I'm going to mix this real quick. Y'all are not going to believe how fast and easy this um, dish comes together. All right. So, now let's add in a cup of mayonnaise. And since I used a little extra cheese, we may have to add a little extra mayonnaise, but we'll see. We'll see. Let me, I guess this spoon will be okay. And I'm just gonna stir this in together. It's gonna be super beautiful, super pretty. And then, at the end, right before we serve it, not now, we're gonna stick this in the refrigerator once I get it all mixed up. A jalapeno would be really good in here. Super good. But once we get it all mixed up together, we're gonna stick this in the refrigerator and let the flavors just all come together but right before we serve it, let me show you what we're gonna put in there. We are going to open up a bag. We're gonna open up this bag and let the air out. And then we're gonna take it and squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it and crunch up and then pour in the chili cheese Fritos in this dish. Oh my goodness. Y'all are just not even gonna believe how good it is. It is absolutely amazing. Now you can add some salt and pepper in this if you would like, but with the chili cheese Fritos going in at the end, you're not gonna need it. So, okay guys, that salad just came together that fast, that easy, and it's gonna be, yes, that delicious. All right, so I'm gonna put some saran wrap on this, get this in the refrigerator, and let it get ready for the Fritos. All right, I'll see you back when it comes time. In just a minute, we're gonna go ahead and make our spicy mayonnaise for our sandwich. And we've got to make our um, buttermilk um, marinade for the chicken. Okay, so I've already measured out my mayonnaise and I'm hoping and praying I got enough sriracha sauce. Ah, may have to water it down a little bit. Okay, so I've got a cup and a half of mayonnaise. Probably could have gone away with just a cup, but I'm erring on the side of caution to be sure we have enough. So I need three tablespoons of sriracha. One. Oh no. Let's call that two. Okay, come on, Lord. You multiply the fish and the loaves, multiply the sriracha sauce for us. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to make it. I think if I keep shaking and keep squirting, we're going to make it. Yep, we're going to make it. We are going to make it, y'all. Yes! We made it. Yes. All right, so that is three tablespoons of sriracha. Bottle goes in the trash, that goes in there. Now we're gonna add in three teaspoons of garlic powder. One, two, and I'm going kind of light on this because we got onions in the corn salad. All right. 
And there is our spicy mayonnaise ready for our chicken sandwiches. Our garlicky spicy mayonnaise ready. I'm going to put some saran wrap on this as well and get it in the refrigerator. And now we're going to get busy making the marinade for our chicken. I set my, I forgot to set my chicken out last night, so I set it out this morning. And uh, actually, I'm actually hoping it's slightly still frozen because it just makes it easier. The chicken breasts look really thick, so I'm going to cut them in half. And um, plus that makes it go further. <laughs> and we're going to... There is our mayonnaise already. Now, this may look familiar to you. Um, I fixed something very similar to this when I make salmon. I just add just a splash of soy sauce in it and um, serve it over uh, my air fried salmon, and it is so good. Okay, let me get some saran wrap on this, get it in the refrigerator, and then we'll start on the marinade for our chicken. Okay, everyone, I sliced my chicken up. These were pretty big chicken breasts, so I actually cut them in half. Like, here's your chicken breast. I cut it in half this way, and then I turned it up on its edge and cut it in half this way. So each chicken breast, I got four pieces out of. Um, I am going to see if I have, like, some of the bag frozen chicken breasts that you can buy. And just in case these shrink up for some unknown reason. <laughs> but, anyway, I have, oh, there's cheese in there. Hang on. I measured cheese in that. Um. It's um, not going to hurt anything to have an extra one. <laughs> All right, so I'm doubling my marinade since I have so much chicken. So I'm going to do two cups of buttermilk. Two cups of buttermilk. Love cooking with buttermilk. I don't like to drink it. I don't like to drink any kind of milk. But, I do like to cook with buttermilk. Okay, so let me get you guys turned down here. I'm going to put two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, four teaspoons of paprika, go give or take some and two teaspoons of garlic powder and that is our marinade so the spiciness comes in a little bit in the flouring of the chicken and in the mayonnaise the marinade itself is just mainly to tenderize and to flavor and to color that paprika will give our chicken a beautiful beautiful color Okay, so there is our marinade, here is our chicken, and I'm just going to pour this over the chicken, and we're going to flip it and stir it and check on it quite often. So there we go, we're just going to let this hang out in that marinade. You can leave this as little or as long as you want. You want it at least an hour. You can leave this overnight if you like. Now, I don't have overnight because we're cooking this afternoon. So, mine will be in there a few hours, but um, I'm going to get a fork just to push some down. I've got hair in my face. Um, to push some down um, into the marinade. But um, mine will be in here a few hours, um, maybe, I'm not really sure what time it is, but um, this is going to be so good. I'm so excited about this. This has been a favorite dish of ours, and I'm not sure why I don't make it more than I do, other than, you know, here lately I've been watching the bread intake. <laughs> um so, okay, this chicken is just going to hang out and marinate and 
finished thawing and I'm gonna go see if I have any frozen chicken breast like in the bag that I can just throw on top here um, to, to serve as a just in case we need it type thing I don't think I really don't think we're gonna need it at all so okay guys I'll bring you back uh, when it is time to get to breading and to frying so we're done for the day until time for supper until time to like really get to cooking. So I'll see you back in just a little bit, okay? Okay, it's time to make the flour. I'm just gonna make it ahead of time and um, our breading for our chicken, I'm just gonna make it ahead of time. Let it just sit until I'm ready. So that way when it comes time to eat, all I gotta do is heat the oil up, fry the chicken, and we're ready to eat. So um, I like to get things done ahead of time. Now I know if I worked outside the home, that would be impossible. But anyway, okay, so here I have a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. Normally I fry with self-rising, but uh, we're gonna do all-purpose this time. There is a half a cup of cornstarch, and I'm gonna use a fourth of a cup more now, because I'm doing um, so much chicken, I am increasing the recipe a little bit, but I will leave the actual recipe, you know, the, the normal sizes and measurements. I'll leave that um, down below. Um, I'm going to go a little bit more than a fourth of half of this because I didn't fill it completely full. Just get a little more cornstarch. That's going to give it a crunchy airiness. It's going to be delicious. Delicious, delicious. Okay, so now I'm going to use a tablespoon and a half of garlic. And this is a half tablespoon measurement. So we'll go in with three of these. Same thing with the cayenne tablespoon and a half. Like I said, these measurements I'm giving you are not correct. Be sure to check the description box. Same thing with the paprika. I think that's going to just about do it for my paprika. have a little bit left and the same thing with onion powder okay and we're gonna get salt and pepper And that is it to the flour dredge. So I'm just going to take this gravy whisk. It works really good for gravy. I'm not sure it's working so good for flour. <laughs> I'll grab another whisk just to let's do it this way. That works pretty good. Okay, so we're just, I'm just going to put a paper towel on this and let this hang out until um, time for supper. There we go. That is ready to go. All right. Just that easy. Spicy chicken sandwiches better than Popeye's. Um, whoever else was in that war with Popeye's, was it Chick-fil-A? I don't know. I don't remember who it was, what restaurants it was, but there's nothing that beats this one, which is done at home and so delicious. So, okay, I'll see you back. We've made salad, desserts made. You saw that on yesterday's video. If you haven't, be sure to go back and check it out. And so now we are just waiting 
to fry up our chicken. It's getting close to supper time and I've got, let me show you what I've got over here. I've got everything ready and laid out. I've got about an inch, maybe not quite an inch of oil in this big pan here. I have my flour, my dredge ready. I have, of course, my chicken that's marinating. I have my um, rack. When it comes out, when I'm frying something, I don't lay it on paper towels anymore. Used to, not anymore. I lay it on a rack so that it becomes crispy and it doesn't get soggy and steam on the underneath side. So, I have that done. I have paper plates set out. This is a sandwich meal, so we're doing paper plates. Paper plates, the table is ready with the buns, the dill pickles, you gotta have dill pickles on your spicy chicken sandwich. Regular mayonnaise for those who wanna cut the heat a little bit, some chips, napkins, everything's done. I've already sliced up the tomato. It's, it's set over here on the side. I've got lettuce in the refrigerator already pulled apart. The mayonnaise, the spicy mayonnaise is still in the refrigerator. The only thing I have left to do, the only thing, now everybody else can fix their own drinks, but the only thing I have left to do is to fry the chicken and to put this in the corn salad. That is it. I am ready. So I'm probably gonna turn my oil on about 545, maybe 550, somewhere around there. We want to eat around 6.30. I'm not sure how many batches I'll have to go through, so I'm going to start frying a little early. Um, so, yeah. Windows are up in the house today. The temperature outside is glorious. It may be close to 80 right now, but it's wonderful. I've got my attic fan, which is pulling all this wonderful air in. The only downside is somebody's burning something somewhere. I have smelt it all day. There is just a slight hint of smoke everywhere. I mean, all day. And so when I raised the windows and turned, well, the windows were up when I got up, but when I turned the attic fan on, it just brought that smoke smell in, but that's okay with me too. Um, it is just a absolutely wonderful, wonderful day. And a great day for a spicy fried chicken sandwich so okay i'll bring you back when i get to frying okay everyone i hear the tractor so i'm over here i'm gonna turn my burner on and i'm gonna get my oil heating while it's heating i'm gonna put my first batch of chicken over into the flour and i'm just gonna do that by using this fork since i've already messed it up And I'm just gonna shake off any excess buttermilk and I'm just gonna actually just lay it in there. I'm just gonna get a couple in there. Let's see, I think I can get one more in the flour. I can probably get several in my frying pan. I'm not worried about that, but. All right, so we're just gonna flip these around, get them coated good. And I'm gonna show you this utensil one of my sweet viewers sent me. One of you guys sent me, and I love it. I'm so excited. I'm gonna get to use it. So now we're just waiting for the oil. I'll bring you back as soon as it gets hot. Okay, guys, here's the utensil I wanted to show you. <laughs> I love it. I can just carry the meat right over, drop it, and then pick it up and turn it. Love it. I'm gonna get another little splash of flour.
every one, I just flipped them. I did five minutes on one side and we'll do about five minutes on the other. These thicker ones, I may leave a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, aren't they beautiful? That's some pretty fried chicken right there. Those are really thick chicken breasts, so I'm having trouble getting them done. So I've left them in, I've turned them back on, and they're going a little longer. Um, so right now, I've just opened the bag so it don't pop. And I'm just taking, and I'm giving them a kind of a coarse crunch. I don't want them powdery, but a coarse breakage. You know, like the bag's been in your book bag for, you remember carrying little bags of chips in your book bag and then you get them out and it's nothing but crumbs. That's kind of what I'm going for. There you go. All right, so. I have my corn salad here out of the refrigerator. Beautiful, I know, I know, I know. Check the chicken. Let's, let's give this a taste. Why don't we? Might as well while we're waiting on the chicken. Probably burning on the outside. So good. It don't need nothing. Nothing. No salt. No pepper. Nothing. I'm going to finish that bag. I'm going to finish putting that bag in. Oh my goodness, that is so good. So good. All right, we are going to have a delicious supper. I'm probably burning the chicken, but that's okay. I want it done. <laughs> so, let's go over here. That one I feel sure I can get out. All right, we'll be getting them out in just a second, putting another batch in. We'll bring you back when it's time to eat. Okay guys, as you can tell, Bryant is not here. He is stuck in the hay field working on hay equipment, but everybody else is eating. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. See, I told you Jamie likes this. How, how was everybody's chicken sandwiches? Delicious. You know what the best part was though? What was the best part? <laughs> the salad. The Frito salad. I told y'all it's just that good. In fact, Isaac, before he even made a sandwich, he had a full plate of that stuff. Sure. So Alright, Judabug, how's your chicken? Huh? You should let me taste it. Let me taste it. Oh. I thought you'd already tasted it. He has, but he's doing a taste test. Oh, he's doing a taste test. Hand. Hand. He didn't want his on a sandwich. He wanted it by itself. And y'all, it's spicy. Good. Good. Woohoo! So good. <laughs> I love it when I get that reaction. Okay, guys. Well, I won't say bye until you hear from Bryant, and he should be in shortly, but we were all hungry, and the food was ready, so we went ahead and ate. Um, I'll come back and let him tell you what he thinks of everything. 
All right, Brock, what'd you think? It was delicious. It's got an empty plate. Look at there. What about that corn salad? The bomb.com. <laughs> Crunchy, flavorful, really good. And we put no salt. Do not put salt or pepper in it because you don't need it. Once you put those corn chips in there, it's all the seasoning you need. No salt. But chicken is the bomb. You gotta make that chicken sandwich. It is so good. It is so good. And I brought out the regular mayonnaise in case somebody didn't want, but I didn't think it was too spicy. Yeah, you know, my little wimp husband. <laughs> hey, y'all take up for me. That was uncalled for. <laughs> when it comes to spicy things. But anyway, okay, we've had a great family meal. Now to let Caroline and Isaac clean up. We almost forgot. Sons of mice. We almost forgot the persimmon pudding. I'm going to let Caroline be the taste tester of that. Okay, guys, if you watched yesterday's video i made a persimmon pudding but i told you you had to come back for today to see us actually taste it so kara i've already tasted it it's absolutely delicious isaac came in and ate all the edging off i told you how i like the edge he just came in and just ripped the edge off and ate it but so caroline's gonna taste it for you that's the, that's the part i'm gonna get to she likes that see we all like the edge brian do you like the edge or the center take a little bit he, it doesn't matter to him. It's not his favorite dessert, but he eats it. Whoa, 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 what was that? So good. So good. I'm telling you. It's a, I don't know if it's a, just in North Carolina. I, it's probably North Carolina, Virginia, South Carolina. I don't know how, where it extends to, but it's, it's a, Southeast delicacy. delicacy? <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word. But anyway, it's it's one of our favorite things. So, all right, guys. But Isaac came in, and he's so right. He came in, he goes, it don't feel right having persimmon pudding in the spring. Because to us, it's a fall, fall. dessert. Because that's when the fruit falls from the tree is in the fall. And I usually only make it in the fall. But I'm trying to clean out the freezer and use some stuff that I've got in there. So that's why we have persimmon pudding on a spring day. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining us here in our house, in our home, down on the farm. We love you guys. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. You can fry anything. Bye, y'all.